All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. I don't need to kind of hide the fact that what we're going to pick up, we're going to pick up a new 2019 RZR Polaris, RZR Turbo S. We got about 25 minutes until we're there, 20 minutes until we get to the dealership. Ryan and I drove about two and a half hours to get here. No dealerships around me had any of them. Every dealership I called, they didn't even, they're like, we don't even get those ever. Or one dealership had it and they sat on it for like a year and a half so they don't order them. So I had to come to PA to get it. I'm gonna be there in 20 minutes like I said. And then I will get there, I'll see how much I can film. And then I will get it loading up on the trailer. And I will bring it back to the snow. PA doesn't have any snow, but back home in the snow. It's uh, we'll, uh, snowing right now. We'll get it back there, mess around, give it a little run over. I'll quit talking, we'll get to the dealership and uh, we'll check this thing out. All right, well, we just pulled up here. It says it's a Kia dealer, some car dealership. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's in the backside. We're gonna pull around right. and see. This is it. Where should I park? Thing barely can fit out. Barely. It is pretty wide. Uh, we got all the paperwork stuff figured out, all filled out, and uh, I don't think I head back home. All right, we just pulled out. We couldn't not come to Krispy Kreme coming to PA. And we could not come to uh, the fireworks store and get at least a little something to mess around with. What are you getting, Ryan? Some orders or something? Buying. You're just feeling it? Everything. Buying everything? All right, one more gas fill up here, and then uh, we'll be back home, get back in one tank at least. Took a full tank to uh, pretty much get here, essentially, so probably should fill that up if they didn't fill that up uh, at the dealer. We'll get back in here and get chowing down on my donuts. All right, we just got back to the house. We'll get it all unstrapped and stuff. Don't mind my voice. I lost my voice. I'm sick, so it sounds like I've like smoked a pack of cigarettes for my whole entire life, so this is not how I normally sound if you're new on the channel. By the way, if you're new, Subscribe if you want to see some dumb stuff with this thing coming in tomorrow's video on Sunday. So we're going to get a little break in, warm it up, tool it around the lawn, tool it around the neighborhood, and then tomorrow we'll take it out, full test, rip on it, and all you'll see that tomorrow. So if you're new, subscribe. Of course, like the video for uh, see more stuff on this thing. So we'll get this thing on strapped and get it all broken in. What do you got going on up here? Do these your new we, straps? We have some. Are these new straps? We have some straps from the 1800s <laughs> that Ryan has. Those are brand new. These things are roached. <laughs> now they're all frozen. They can't. They don't even undo. No, you got to pull on it. No, stop. Put a jink on her. We'll let the expert take control. I've been using these for I, 40 years. I loosened it for you. Yeah. I loosened it for you. Let's get this thing warmed up while we wait. It's gonna take a while. Boom. Do I gotta put my foot on the brake or something? Hopefully they put some gas in it. Yeah, it looks like they topped it off for us. I'm gonna have to wipe these seats down there. So, and honestly, it wasn't that bad driving back with uh, all the snow and slush. It really didn't stick to it. Now I can actually see this thing. Didn't really get to look at it too good at the, uh, at the shop. This thing is so sick. We'll give a little run over once we get it off the trailer. We'll back this thing off. Whoa. Those but tires are literally the size of your truck. It barely fit in the trailer. <laughs> They're like an inch smaller than my truck tires. Yeah. We'll line it up next to it. We'll see the difference. We don't even know how to operate this thing. <laughs> First thing, time sitting in it. This thing's sick. <laughs> Come on. This thing's huge. <laughs> it's literally like a car. You no, know, it really is. It's so it big. Really is. The tires are massive. I can actually see what it looks like on the ground. No, I think they're pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah, they really are. We're gonna have to get some some pop up parts and stuff, some e box. Oh yeah. Big stuff. Maybe we'll change the color, do some powder coat, some paint. 
All you gotta say is gonna, there's gonna be another one of these in the spring. Yeah, Ryan's gotta get one now. This is the cleanest it's ever gonna look right now. Never gonna look the same. Never, never. As soon as you pull it off, these things are gonna get yeah. caked. There's so many so, little spots so and crevices. Dude. This thing's sick. So, alright, let's cool it around the neighborhood and then I'll do a little bit over on it. Alright, so we got this thing rewarming up. We did a little riding um, off camera. I realized that uh, I had to go through and get goggles and stuff. It's so cold. The wind on your eyes uh, is not fun. So, it's dark right now. I'll try and get a couple little riding clips, but the majority of the clips will be in tomorrow's video. Actually, testing and riding this thing. This is kind of just breaking it in i guess if you guys don't follow my instagram you guys would have seen me kind of messing around with it already on my story but yeah this thing is a ton a ton of fun it's, it's surprisingly oh, <laughs> i wouldn't reverse it's surprisingly good like in two wheel drive you didn't, i haven't even really needed four i can't see any One clip of coming up through the grass, there's really nowhere else to go for right now. And then I'm gonna be done because if I keep going at it, I'm going to destroy my grass. All right. That was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna that was fun to rip around for a little bit around the neighborhood and the, the yard. Try not to destroy the lawn too much yet, but I'm gonna get the. Uh, hose out with the hot water and rinse it off especially since uh they salted and stuff and i don't really want to let that sit on there so pumping hot water this thing's gonna be really fun to clean when it's really muddy and to power wash it this will be this will take a while to power wash it's part of the fun you know you get it dirty you have fun cleaning it thing is so sick i can't even believe that i have this thing are we even gonna ride dirt bikes anymore i don't know if we're gonna ride dirt we're gonna ride dirt bikes still but It'll, there's just going to be more content on the channel overall. So I'll talk about my plans on this. And you'll see. You'll see. Trust me. Within the spring or summer, you'll see. Do my best to, uh, Mike did most of it, but get most of this stuff and rinse everything off. And then what I'll do is try and fit it and back it into here. All right, we're going to try and fit this thing in the garage. That's the bike. Hold on. I can go. Come on. Straighten the wheel. You're good. Now we're good. Solid. Now you can do yeah, it. Now you can epic garage door open shop for tomorrow. Got it in the garage. We still got some room to spare in the front. We're looking in the back. How much room we have to spare. Oh, dude, we're solid. Why is it that tight on this side? Oh, yeah, we're pretty tight. We're pretty tight on this side. I can't do any work in here now. The whole thing is full. I have outgrown this space. I've officially, as of right now, outgrown this. How do you? How big do you think this garage is? This is a one car garage. I'd say this outgrows yeah. two car garage. Yeah, I'd, I'd say. The 250 barely fits in between there. By the way, if you have not gotten an entry to win... My 17 Cowie 250F. Every $5 spent gives you one entry to win that thing on my website. All new merch, the Dangle GoPro gripper mounts, key tags, stickers. Get on it now. It's ending this month. You don't have a lot of time. So if you want to win this thing, I'll ship it to your house. It's ready to go for you. Full FMF, full bunch of parts on it. Get on it. Top link in the description to my website. Get a chance to win this thing. So yeah, so giving it a little run over. We'll come up to the front here. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a 2019 Polaris RZR Turbo S Dynamics, whatever you want to call it. Like, I plan on getting one of these. One, like, eventually, I didn't necessarily plan on getting one now, but, like, I couldn't pass it up. It was a really, really good deal. I got a lot off of what it was priced at because it's a 2019. 
I just kind of made the deal happen and here we are. And I'm super, super pumped for this thing. I gotta get a trailer now. Um, I borrowed Ryan's trailer, but I'm sorry about my voice. I'm really genuinely sorry, but I, I can't help it right now. And I didn't want to wait to put this video out. It's the full wide 72 inch, um, I guess racing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has all the, like the Sparko steering wheel. It's got all the four point harness. Um, it's got all the like ride command. I guess I'll get in here and show you all of the uh, kind of details on this thing with this ride command unit. We'll turn it on halfway. So basically with this controller, it's got a rear view camera for when I back up over here, um, coming to the home screen, you can see, hang on, you can see like the speedometer obviously. Um, and then going, you can see your temp, you see how many hours I have 8.8 .8 miles on it. Um, temperature, and then coming in here, you can see the uh, active suspension. So when I turn the wheel, you can see that actually turn with it. You can see the suspension, what's working, the tires, what's working, everything like that. Um, you can see like the front and rear camera. If I had a front camera, my phone with Bluetooth, get calls, contacts, messages. Once I get speakers in here, I can set that up and play music. Got the radio, whole deal on there. It's sick. And then obviously your I mean like gauge cluster. And then we got obviously four wheel drive, two wheel, high, low, front little lights. And then we have uh, the suspension, comfort, sport, and firm. Comfort, I think, drops the machine down a couple inches and like lowers it and obviously makes it a little bit softer. And then the suspension will actually compensate for like, say you're turning right, it'll kind of put more pressure or weight in the right side to kind of even it out when you're turning. But yeah, this thing's got a bunch of features and I'm super, super stoked on it. The uh, Dynamics version comes with the bottom doors along with the roof standard and then uh, the Fox shocks Which is different from the velocity which is below this one other than that if you guys have one Let me know some upgrades you think I should do to it um, exhaust what wheels things other parts I should do to it But I'm probably just gonna ride the thing maybe put a couple uh, different lights on it some mirrors and uh, Stuff for the night. We'll get a little front view. I think you can actually turn the lights off and have just like the uh, Fangs I believe could have just the fangs running, which is pretty cool. Like daytime running lights. Way bigger in person than I thought it was going to be. I've never actually seen one in person. It's really stoked on this thing. Super, super stoked on it. And uh, hope you guys are pumped for some videos with this thing. See what I get into. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty crazy. Tires are already edged because Mike got a little crazy. So did I, but yeah. So we need a tire sponsor. It's just breaking. It's just break, breaking. Break, break period. What else do I need to clear up? No. It goes fast. It goes fast. Um, nobody bought this for me. I bought it myself. <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of those comments. Everybody's going to have their assumptions regardless. I don't care. Obviously, with this YouTube, I create content and then I reinvest in the business. And this is a definitely very big investment for the channel. And uh, overall, should be really, really fun. So we'll see tomorrow the full test, right, Mike? This has more radiators than my car. <laughs> I wonder this versus Alta. If the Alta would beat it, you think so? We'll try it out. I think that it'd be a close race with the Alta, honestly. I don't really know what else to say. Like I said in the comments, let me know what you think, your thoughts. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see with this thing. Like I said, if you guys are new, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, smash the thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video.